Hello there, Kamala Wolf from me. Following the year's first indie world and previously third party partner direct, and also Pokemon Presents with Pokemon ZA, on the release of the only new first party game in 2024, plus a few others, what are really the next dishes being prepared by Nintendo? You know, especially now that they're not attending Gamescom 2024. Is it close to nothing, or is there something hiding in the bushes here somewhere? Because what they have announced so far is the first half of the year, especially when it comes to their own games. Uh, because apart from Paper Mario, the Thousand Year Door Switch, and Luigi's Mansion 2 HD, both releasing on Thursdays in both late May and late June, there isn't that much to talk about. And I think the reason for the lack of interest is actually quite simple. It's just that Nintendo hasn't revealed anything of their own so far and have, hasn't updated us on things that they also announced in, say, the previous Direct. I'm not talking about games, I'm talking about other stuff as well. And that is the thing. Nintendo really needs to address the elephant in the room. Namely, no first-party Nintendo Direct by mid-April. To be completely fair, this is unheard of. Especially in the Switch era, where the only new first-party franchise game, Princess Peach Showtime, has been out for close to a month at this point. Also, Nintendo is not attending Gamescom 2024, as previously mentioned, so what do you really have for us in the second half of 2024, Nintendo? Yes, this all ties very much to the transition to the next system, the Nintendo Switch 2. Which is another big mystery, because technically Nintendo hasn't even talked about this thing. They have been talking about, yeah, we're developing something, but no code name, nothing, literally. We could get something now in May, but I don't think it's going to be a reveal. If anything, it's just going to be a confirmation that something is coming out maybe in this fiscal year, because now we are in the new fiscal year. A April is the first month of the new Nintendo fiscal year, so April 2024 to March 2025. And that means we could see some more updates. Some are saying maybe a direct is right around the corner. I am a little bit more unsure about that. It's something between now and I would say the second half of June. But seeing that we had already an indie world in April and it didn't provide us with Silk Song, I just feel like the Nintendo Direct might take a little while. And it all depends also on what, what Nintendo's focus is, of course, because they do have games that they could still announce for the Nintendo Switch. And what kind of games would that be, uh, may you ask? Well, in the case of Mario, I think that there's one possibility. And I think this one, if anything, could be the big seller this year as well, and that is a new Mario Party. Because, truth be told, we've only had one so far, and that's Super Mario Party. Other Mario games just don't make any sense. We're too close from the release of Super Mario Bros. Wonder, and of course the next 3D Mario game is ex it's going to be exclusive on, on the Nintendo Switch 2. The same goes with Mario Kart. And you can say a lot of the same about any other Mario franchise as well. Uh, we, have an, uh, we have a Paper Mario game coming out this year. So I think only a Mario Party game in the second half of the year, three years after Mario Party Superstars is the only option. As for Zelda, it's also too soon after Tears of the Kingdom for a new game. I think that is a year, maybe even two away for a new game. And in that case, it would have to be top down. But we have the possibilities, of course, of remakes and remasters. We have an, a number of videos now talked about Wind Waker HD, Twilight Prince HD, and A Link Between Worlds. So, Metopia from 3DS to the Switch. And personally, I lean the most towards A Link Between Worlds. It's probably the simplest one to bring over without creating any sort of, oh, why didn't you bring this? Why did you bring this over, but not this? Which would be the case in Wind Waker and not Twilight Princess's case, which of course could be solved with a bundle, but then again, you're gonna have a pricing situation and the likes. So that leaves us with Metroid. <laughs> yeah, I'm just jumping here. I'm sorry, guys, but really two options. Either continuation of Metroid Prime Trilogy, so the second game in that trilogy, that being Metroid Prime 2 Echoes, which would make sense because the second half of the year needs something, especially when there's no Pokemon. Zelda might fill it out. We don't know. Could be the case. But the thing is, uh, Metroid Prime 2 Echoes or Metroid Prime 4. Personally, I hope for Metroid Prime 4, I think this game could really benefit from the massive Switch install base, especially before the next system is out and then have it being backwards compatible on the next system. I think that is one of those games, along with a new Mario Party game, uh, that could be great for the second half of, of 2024. So it's those type of games that I think Nintendo is cooking up or 
another remake, remaster uh, of some other franchise. Kirby had that situation last year. I'm not sure if that's going to be the case this year. I think the next Kirby game is going to be being saved for the next system. And this is the thing that we have to keep in touch is that Nintendo is cooking games. They are developing games for the Switch too. It's just that, of course, until the Switch successor is revealed, we'll not be hearing anything about the exclusives for that system. What we're going to hear about are games that are coming out to the Switch exclusively are coming up to the Switch because the next system is backwards compatible and uh, thus we'll be able to take advantage of it as well. But they want to have arguments for people to buy the new system and not just stick to the uh, Nintendo Switch. So I wouldn't expect too many big games coming into the system as well. With this situation, it begs the question, is Nintendo Live still happening uh, this year? Because we haven't heard any updates on that as well. Last year, as we all remember, that was the first place where uh, Super Mario Bros. Wonder was pu publicly playable in Seattle, as Nintendo of America got that honor. I think if Nintendo Live is gonna happen this year, it will have to be with some uh, big game announcements. Because we know that Nintendo is working on um, bringing in some more games outside of just their own, especially getting more third-party support. They recently hired at Nintendo of America former Sony Interactive employee Joe Corsi, who is here to really bring in more third-party games for Nintendo. And I think this could be a very successful enterprise, especially with the success of the Nintendo Switch. And if the next system is more powerful, well, that goes without saying. But at the same time, we have to think a little bit about which franchises have still not been represented on the Switch. Outside of Star Fox, which is in a limbo of its own, and F-Zero, which has been degraded to Mario Kart, you have Donkey Kong, of course. And it is a big year for Donkey Kong. We have the opening of um, the Donkey Kong Country expansion to Super Nintendo World in Osaka with the very innovative roller coaster technology that is being tested out there. The delay can have multiple reasons. I think it mostly has to do with the coaster, the new technology, and making sure that everything is good. But some have also been started to rumoring about that there could be something more to it. Maybe a new Donkey Kong is being timed since it's not coming out in spring, you know, 2024, and instead it's coming out in late 2024, now the opening of the expansion of the park, oh, are we getting a new Donkey Kong? And the same goes with uh, when we think about Nintendo Switch Online, where is Donkey Kong 64? Now in April, they added new games, but they had nothing to do with Nintendo IPs. So people are starting to connect some dots here and thinking, oh, maybe it's something Donkey Kong is happening uh, this year. And uh, yeah, we'll just have to see and find out. But one thing we still don't have anything updates on is something they announced in back in September in the last first party Nintendo Direct that we've had up to this point, that being the Nintendo Museum. Apparently construction has finished now in March, could have been delayed, I don't know, but no updates so far. Uh, so um, it wouldn't surprise me if suddenly we get to a Nintendo Direct sometime from now to June and then we get the updates on, on both of those there because, well, uh, the first time we heard about the Nintendo Museum in Uji, I mean publicly and not just for a press release, was in the September Nintendo Direct. So I really hope that Nintendo brings more stuff themselves to the table instead of just having third parties, indies and Pokemon. Uh, doing the work for them, especially when Pokemon Legends at A is not coming out until 2025. And uh, it looks very thin uh, in, in 2024. So yeah, I just want to know what, what's going on. We also know that the movies are definitely not coming out this year, uh, whether it's for the Zelda movie that was announced at the end of last year, or the uh, next Mario movie, or Mario movie franchise movie, whether that's Donkey Kong or Mario, sometime in I don't know when, because it was just announced during Mar 10 day. So yeah, that, that is the situation we are in. Um, something is being cooked. It's just a question, what is something I've already presented throughout this video, but it's more the question of when we will get a reveal, when will we get the first trailer, when will we get some more specifics. Uh, and it all depends, in my opinion, on a big Nintendo Direct. And of course, uh, the eventual reveal of Nintendo Switch successor. And yes, it could be October, like in the case of the Nintendo Switch, but it could also be later because of, well, the Switch is still selling, there's a holiday season, and uh, if the system is not going to be out by that one, yeah, that is an issue as well. But I want to see what you think about this all in the comment section down below. There's definitely something being cooked here, but um, we just need to find out what eventually sometime this year. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, be sure to leave a like, subscribe and press the notification bell. And uh, as always, a big thanks to all uh, patreon.com slash patrons who 
keep me and the channel going for, uh, through this very difficult time for me for all kinds of ways. Of course, a big shout out to the Royal Producers, that being Zach Johnson and JC Funk, and Heroes, Holly Wolf, Cheryl and Garrett Hoy, or Rock, and please enjoy one or both of these two awesome videos. <laughs> 